Okay, what happened was he he had been arrested locally in Vegas mm-hmm. for possession of stolen property, property taken in a burglary. Now, Frank was already a two-time loser. So under the three strikes, you're out thing, he could have been facing life in prison. Oh, okay. I see. So, but he was prepared to do that. You know, he was a stand-up guy. You never rat on your friends, all that kind of stuff. And, of mm-hmm. course, the, the law wanted Tony Spilatro real bad. He was the ultimate goal. Like like in uh, New York, they, they wanted uh, John Gotti real bad. They made a deal with Sammy the Bold Romano, you know, and he uh, forgave him for 19 murders or something if, if he would flip and roll on, uh, on Gotti. So they wanted Frank to do that. They wanted mm-hmm. Frank to roll on Tony. And Frank says, Pat, he was prepared to do life in prison rather than give up Tony because they were yeah. boys, they were friends since boyhood. Mm-hmm. So one day, while well, Frank's, he had been convicted, he's, he's in jail waiting for sentencing. And the, the FBI agent, an FBI agent calls from the Vegas field office. He was a supervisor and he says, uh, he calls Frank's lawyer. He says, I need to talk to your client. He said, meet me at the jail, Clark County Detention Center, you know, such and such a time. So they bring Frank out of a cell into a conference room and the Frank's lawyer is there and the FBI agent says, okay, he said, I just want to tell you, FBI policy is that if we know someone's life is in danger, we have to tell them regardless of our feelings toward that person. Frank, he says, I just wanted to tell you, we know that the uh, the Chicago outfit has approved a contract on your life. You're going to be killed. Thank you. Have a nice weekend. Ooh. And he leaves. So Frank's, you know, doesn't know what to think. And the lawyer says, don't worry about that. He says, he, he, you know, the law can lie to you. They're allowed to lie. So he said, they're making this up so they can, you know, get you to, to roll on Tony. Right. So Frank spends the weekend in his cell thinking thinking about this FBI visit. The next morning, or Monday morning, he's on the phone to the FBI without his lawyer being involved. And he wants the agent to come to the jail. Mm-hmm. So the agent shows up, they have this meeting. And, uh, you know, Frank still feels he's probably being set up. It's probably BS, you know, they're just trying to get him to talk. But he says, you know, wants to know how he can believe this guy. And the agent says, well, I'll tell you what. He says, we got this off a wiretap. I'll play the recording for you. Ooh. So there the recording is. And Tony Spilatro and one of the outfit bosses, a guy named Joey, they call him Joey the Clown. Joey the Clown Lombardo. He was Spilatro's boss. I ran a phone conversation and uh, Lombardo says to Tony, he says, yeah, I see what you mean. He says, Wash your dirty laundry. That's mob talk for kill the guy. Mm-hmm. Well, Frank knows now that Tony threw him under the bus. Tony was blaming all the problems in Las Vegas on Frank, that he couldn't control Frank, and that Frank was running running amok. And uh, so Lombardo gave Tony permission to, have, to kill Frank or have him killed. So when Frank heard that, he decided, you know, what do I owe Tony at this point? Yeah. If Tony wants me dead, he's going to kill me or have me killed. And uh, so after some negotiations, he he agreed to uh, be a cooperating witness. No, he never wore a wire. He just said, I will I will tell you what I know from my personal experience mm-hmm. about Tony and other gang members. But I won't wear a wire. I'm not. Uh, Frank had a, a saying that an informant is someone who wears a wire usually or just is trying to make a deal to keep out of jail and that type of thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, cooperating witness is somebody who's the mob has decided is expendable and they're going to kill them. And there's not a whole lot of choice. You can either just walk out to where they're going to kill you, dig your own grave and let them put one in your head, or you can you know, go to a plan B. Frank took plan B which was uh, testifying and going into witness protection. So that's how he ended up in witness protection. Wow. So what what ended up happening to Tony? Tony was eventually murdered by the mob in 1986. And they, they uh, in, in the casino, they show him being beaten to death in a cornfield. Mm-hmm. Uh, that 
it's not the way it happened. He was beaten to death, he and his brother, in the basement of a house in Chicago, in a Chicago suburb. Mm -hmm. And uh, ironically, one of his killers, one of the guys that killed Tony and his brother, was a guy Frank had wanted to kill. And Frank and I went to...